What's up, Ichu? This is going to be our guide on how to use Mew in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I'll be providing some competitive movesets and some fun meme movesets too. If there's a Pokemon you'd like to see me cover, let me know about in the comments section and let's get into it. So since we have a Mew and... Uh, it was a Mewtwo raid coming up, I thought I'd do a Mew and Mewtwo set tonight. So spoiler alert. Now Mew is a extraordinary versatile Pokemon and it can have a variety of different movesets. So we may have a bit of a long video today. We'll see how it goes. So with Mew stats, we've got a respectable 100 in every single one of them. So that means it can do a variety of different roles, whether it be a physical sweeper, a special sweeper, a tank, support, so many different things it can do. Now, Mew gets some uh, very, very nice defensive moves here. So we're going to be having a look at the uh, stored power set uh, to begin this one off with. So we've got Iron Defense and we've got Calm Mind, which work very, very nicely in um, tandem together. Now, the item I've got on this is Leftovers. You possibly could run another item on there. I'm thinking maybe possibly Citrus Berry. That could be helpful. Only in the earlier stages of setting up, though. Uh, Mew used to get Roost, but it doesn't get Roost anymore. So uh, it might help in the initial stages of getting an initial uh, you know, Iron Defense up and then Calm Mines, and then you can go from there. Now, either item you pick there, you could have... Um, we'll put it back to Leftovers. Now, we've also got Draining Kiss on there and Stored Power. So, Draining Kiss is purely for any Dark-type Pokemon. Stored Power is pretty much what you do uh, to any other Pokemon that virtually moves. So, with Stored Power, we've got a, a base 20 power. And every single um, boost it gets, it gets a plus 20 in base power. So... Of course, moves like Calm Mind are very, very good because they boost stats by two. And same with Iron Defense. It makes it bulky and it still stacks on top of that. So it's a very, very uh, powerful move, Stored Power. And Mew also has respectable bulk to start off with. So it's going to be uh, you know, fair, somewhat easy to set this up. Of course, there are always is counters and things like that. Now, it only has synchronized as the ability and that's virtually it. So... It's just the average ability, nothing like super amazingly special. Uh, a set like this, it could be shut down by like Toxic or something like that. So I have seen like little variants of things like... Uh, with the, I'll, I'll go over the variants for that in a sec. So with this set, you can run it a couple of ways. We've got Max Health on these stored power sets. It pretty much always will run Max Health. And it's got Max Special Defense Calm Nature. So boosting up uh, Special uh, Defense and dropping attack. Another way to run it too is actually to run it speedy. Now, you do lose a lot of bulk on the special side, of course, initially. But the reason is you can have Timber Nature and Max Speed, so that gets you a quick Iron Defense or Calm Mind off, maybe outspending a speedier opponent. And then that means you can get your stored powers going. The only thing about stored power is it's not like Draining Kiss. It's not going to get health back. So that's another uh, reason why I don't mind the bulky set too. But it does take a while to build. Now, another way, if you're really worried about, you know, you're worried, worried about uh, getting your health back and stuff like that, you can opt for some other variants. So, let's say, for example, here, we wanted to run, like, a defensive Mew. So, we could probably, we could probably give that max defense, and we could give it bold nature. So, we've got a lot in defense there. So, we can keep this the same, except what I'm going to do is get rid of iron defense and give it roost. I uh, sorry, roost. Rest. I need to go to sleep. I need a rest. Uh, it used to get Roost, which is very, very good. However, it doesn't get that anymore. It doesn't get Recover. Um, another move it used to get was Soft World as well, but it doesn't get that anymore. So, uh, at the moment, the best thing you give it is Rest. So, you change your item up to Chester Berry. This will give you a way to recover your health off and still do some damage there. So, you won't actually faint to like moves like Toxic, and you can recover yourself still. It does make you a little bit more uh, less bulky on the defensive side, but you're still going to be very, very tanky and be able to take most hits there, except if there's like an exceptionally powerful Pokemon, right? So that's another way you can run this set. Another variant you can run Mew in in the same sort of vein is a Stored Power Body Press set. So with this one, we had Stored Power Draining Kiss. Another one you can run is Body Press and Stored Power. So... Body press obviously is all based around your defensive stat. And this one, I kind of ran like uh, the Chesto uh, Resto set. So we've got Iron Defense, Body Press, Rest, and Stored Power. So it works the same way. 
Uh, stored power will still hit pretty hard after three iron defenses because initially that's going to make the uh, base power. Uh, we've got like two for every stat. So it's going to be like starting off at 20, 40, 60, and then we're going to have 120 base. I guess we're going to have like 120 base power on the end or something like that. So it's going to be pretty strong for sure. Uh, even with no special attack EV like investment. So I've got that and body press is very, very nice because, you know, you can even you could even give it max health, max defense if you wanted to, but I, I like the I like having the spread of uh, it being bulky on the special side too. That way it can live hits and stuff like that from all different sort of directions and uh, physical and uh, special moves. So I've got uh, rest o chesto on this set, and they work very similar. As for terror type, I didn't really uh, go over that much. So with the terror type. I like these sets as having like Terra Normal, so they've only got one weakness. So this one works well for Terra Normal. Oh, uh, look, you could have uh, Terra Fairy as well. That's not a bad one. That's going to give you uh, not many weaknesses at all. And I, I guess you could even go Terra Psychic and you know, boost up stored power even more. But after all those boosts, it is going to be hitting like fairly hard. The reason I uh, suggested the uh, Terra Normal was you're only weak to fighting. And if a fighting type Pokemon wants to come in, well, they're going to have to face a stored power and a drain kiss, which is not going to be a, uh, a very favorable matchup for them. The body press one, I went for fairy, but same kind of things like fairy, normal, fighting, uh, well, for the body press fighting. And yeah, those sort of strategies there. Probably always like with bulky building sets, I feel like it's good to have as little weaknesses as possible. So normal, electric, fairy, you know, those type of things there. So... That's a little bit different in EVs. I gave this one relax and dropping, uh, raising defense and dropping speed. Um, but you could also, you know, do some other like different variants there if you wanted to. So that's a bulky set. Next one we got Mew makes a nice special sweeper. We've got Nasty Plot as a great uh, special move to learn. So we've got uh, Stab Psychic. Aura Sphere is great for dark type Pokemon and annoying like uh, normal type Pokemon. And we've also got Ice Beam as well, purely for coverage. Because uh, you know, uh, when you use a, particularly like when you use like specific, like it, it depends on what sort of rule set you are, you know, you're actually using. But a lot of time, Ice Beam is such a handy move to have. It takes out uh, a lot of Pokemon and hits a lot of Pokemon too for great coverage. I've given this one Expert Belt. So that's going to two times, uh, 1.2 times the damage on super effective hits, which I thought was a pretty good item to put on Mew because it learns a variety of different moves. And you know, the opponent's not really going to know what you're going to do until you use it. So with the EV spread, it's pretty straightforward. We've got Timber Nature, Max Speed, and Max Special Attack. And that's going to work uh, rather nicely. You know, Mew's got 100 and everything. So even with a Nasty Plot sweeping set, you're still going to... You've got enough bulk to live a hit there, which is going to work very, very nicely. Now, the Terra type I gave this, it's a bit of a surprise. I gave it Terra Fighting. So let's say you've got, for example, we've got a Dark type coming in. And they're going to go for like a uh, Shadow Sneak or a Dark Pulse or a Knock Off or something like that. Well, you can go Terra Fighting and then you can hit them with 100% Accuracy uh, or a Sphere. Uh, terror fighting. So that's going to do some good damage and you've got Expert Belt on top of that. So I can definitely see that having somewhat uh, some merit on the set. You could go for other ones like Psychic. Uh, another, you could have like a, maybe a like Flamethrower or Fire Blast. Terror 5, if you're running that, that could work too. And there's also an option for actually having Ice as well. So you might be able to go for like a bulky uh, no, Mew or something like that in the snow if you really, really wanted to. Now the next set I've got here. Uh, works very, very similar to the special set. However, it's a, uh, a physical set. So Mew is an amazing Pokemon because it gets virtually so many moves and also gets Sword Dance too, which means you can run a physical set. Now, I want to say it's physical is probably not quite as good as it's special as in terms of the moves that it learns, but it's still pretty good. So we've got Sword Dance here. I've got Drain Punch for coverage and recovery, of course. We've got Psychic Fangs, and I gave a Flame Charge for like a, a, like a speed boost. I thought that could be fun to give it there. And or any, like, steel types coming in, uh, you could still go for Flame Charge or any annoying stuff like that. If you don't want Flame Charge, you feel like you really don't need it at all, you can opt to go for something a little bit different. I went for Terra Type Fire as a you know, way to change my type. And you could also go for a, maybe another, like, a, a, a Terra Normal that would work too. That way, you know, way you're not very weak to many types too. Or you could go Terra Psychic. Now... Other options than Flame Charge. Let's have a look here. Uh, we have got... I, I gave it Weakness Policy. I thought that would be quite a good item. Mew's quite bulky. And, you know, draws out a lot of those... Uh, a, lot of, a lot of those, like, dark and bug types. I also gave a Fire a fire Fang. Oh, sorry, Fire. 
or any Fire Fang, Fire Punch, probably Fire Punch and Deserve even gets Flare Blitz as well. Or any of those kind of moves uh, to boost up its uh, speed or a Fire type move for like Scizor and things like that. So you could opt to give it a uh, Fire Punch or Flame Charge. I don't know. I just like every time I see a, a, a Mew uh, and you've got like a like Bug type Pokemon can definitely come in there. U-Turn is quite a common move, especially in singles too. Now, as for doubles, I see you could probably... These sets are probably a little bit slow for doubles, so you could opt for something maybe for these types of sets here. They're, they're, they're faster. It's only one setup, and you've got three attacking moves on. So I'd say these ones would probably work uh, as good for singles and doubles at the same time. However, I thought I'd uh, you know do a sp like specified double set as well because there's so many different ones you can do. So this one is an offensive set, so... I don't think Mew's going to be the greatest Pokemon out there, but it can do a lot of different roles. So we're going to make this a special sweeper, and we're going to go Terra Normal Hyper Voice with Throat Spray. So that's going to make it into a normal type, which means if any ghostly Pokemon come in, they use Shadow Ball against you, like, uh, I don't know, Calyrex Shadow Rider or something like that, it is not going to affect you, and you can, uh, you know, get that easy Terra Normal off. Um, and then you can go for like either a Surf or a Dazzling Gleam or anything like that in a doubles battle. Uh, we've got lots of spread moves. We've got Surf, Hyper Voice, and Dazzling Gleam. Some pretty good coverage there. And I popped on Nasty Plot as well. That way you might be able to cheese your way around maybe a Sucker Punch user or something like that. Or just use a status move. You might be able to get Subtute as well. That could be an interesting move you could go for. Or you could pop on Nasty Plot or uh, Calm Mind as well, depending on... Uh, what you want, like, uh, which I've already pretty much got here. But uh, Calm Mind will give you a bit more bulk, but it's probably outclassed by Nasty Pop because you're running like a, uh, a, a special sweeping set. So we've got Timonature and Max Special Attack and Max Speed. You could probably do that with a physical set as well, kind of similar to the one that I already went over here too. So that is a option. And let's have a look at a... Uh, this, is more, this is definitely more of a gimmicky set. I've got more Mews to go over. Uh, definitely heaps more. I'm thinking maybe some support ones. And we'll go over some counters and some teammates and stuff like that. So Mew uh, actually gets Dragon Ants, which is pretty unique. We've got uh, Dragon Ants, and I've given it uh, Zen Headbutt, right? And I've also got Iron Head and Waterfall. So it's like a complete like flinching set. Uh, which is going to be pretty salty. So th uh, we got 30% there, 20% there, and 20% there. Uh, flinching Chance, Dragon Dancer, increased speed, and uh, obviously the attack base. It's good for speed as well. Like flinching is, uh, you want to be as quick as you can if you want to try and flinch. Um, I gave it Bright Powder as well for a little bit of added salt there, so you can have fun uh, flinching all the Pokemon that come in. And it's got you know, a reasonable variety of moves to actually go on too. Max Attack and Max Speed, Jolly Nature. I gave it Terra Type Psychic. You could probably give it Terra Type Steel, Terra Type Water if you wanted to. Some surprise. I uh, could definitely work there uh, too. Now, let's have a look at some more Mew sets. I'm thinking of uh, more of a support style Mew here, like full on support. So, this probably applies a little bit more to singles, but it could apply to doubles as well. So, I notice uh, it gets some very, very good uh, moves here. So, we've got Tailwind and Stealth Rot, which are. You know, very, very nice moves. You can almost make this into a pure lead. So let's say, for example, this is just going to be a lead. I would give it max health. I'd give it max speed because we want to be going first. And depending on what it can do, uh, maybe maybe some sort of... We could go timid for now. It depends if you want to have a, a, a physical or a special move. That could be rather interesting. An item you could give it as well could be red card. Because that way you can set up your uh, your stealth rocks and your spikes and stuff like that and your tailwind and then you might be getting like a couple of swaps here. So let's have a look at a special move that could work it. It learns so many different moves. Maybe something that like faints you would be cool. I don't think it's I don't think it's like explosion or anything like that. So yeah, I don't, I'm not a hundred percent what you could do for this. There's so many different like options. I would probably go either go psychic or psy shock. Or on there, yeah, actually Psychic could work. Psychic, that could be an option you use on there too. That's not bad either, Psychic Fangs, if you're going to do a physical set, because that actually gets rid of screens, which a lead could set up. So you could go Jolly Nature uh, with Psychic Fangs, that could work. Or you could have Psychic with a special set. Another interesting one, you could have is maybe Flare Blitz as well. I'm trying to think of like moves that would faint you, so... You could potentially set up all your stuff here and then faint yourself with Flare Blitz Recall. So there is that option there as well if you really, really wanted that as a support Pokemon. It does get some other notable moves like uh, Torn. So 
Yep, that's how I would be running that. And I'll put Psychic on. This is probably... This is definitely geared more towards singles for sure. All right, so that's another uh, Mew set. I hope you're amused so far. Let's make some... Let's talk about uh, counters. So, I mean... I, I definitely like Calyrex Shadow Rider. I mean, this counters so many, like, so many Pokemon for sure. It's got better speed. It's going to hit very, very hard. And Mew's going to find it very, very difficult to get around this. Uh, we've got other... Let's have a look at some Dark Pokemon. I'm thinking, like, Tyranitar would be quite good as well. Um, let's have a look at this. So we got, um... Uh, Greninja's a little bit interesting because uh, with Protein, how it works, like, you can't abuse Protein anymore. So I would say it's not as threatening as it used to be we got hooper that's another hooper's pretty bad unless mew has something like u-turn uh we got king gambit is going to be very very threatening as well unless once again mew has a fighting move like aura sphere uh we also got mouse which is going to be very very bad for mew indeed and we've also got uh you know Sa uh samurai his wayne with the ceaseless edge move setting up spikes against a mew and we've also got, like, bulky Pokemon like Ting Lu as well. So there is a uh, a massive amount of Pokemon that can actually counter Mew for sure. Like, uh, there's so many. Like, Tyrannus is another one too. That would be a uh, quite a good counter for sure. Tyrannus is very, very bulky. And it's got, uh, you know, very powerful uh, crunch in the uh, sand too. So lots of Pokemon to counter the Mew for sure. If you're after Pokemon, let's say, for example, you're after maybe a normal type. Let's look at normal type Pokemon. Let's look it up here. So that's not bad. Like, Ursuline is not a bad partner for it. Like, you could swap into any of those ghost type moves. That, and that'd be that'd be pretty good to get rid of them too. You've got stuff like Psychazar, which is not bad either. You've also got more soul to swap in there. Um, but I, I would say Ursaluna is pretty, uh, not a bad partner as well. It's a good uh, physical attacker. I have done an Ursaluna guide already. Uh, so if you want to check that out, you can. It's a very uh, popular Pokemon. But there's there's a lot of Pokemon that can essentially uh, you know work well with uh, Mew. How about something super specific? Maybe if you're trying to like squeeze out a certain move. All right, we got a, a, a Rattled is quite a unique ability. So you might be able to uh, couple it with a Dunsparce with Rattle. That'd be cool. Try and uh, draw out those moves, which it uh, actually can draw out uh, a Bug and a uh, Dark moves, which is pretty interesting. Let's have a look at some more uh, Mew sets. So we've got like some counters to it, a couple of partners. Let's do some. Let's do some last minute thoughts on it because there's there is essentially a lot I can do here. So this could also serve as a good baton pass Pokemon too. Now I don't know what sort of rule set you're playing and things like that, but I'm just going to make this general. So if this applies to your rule set, go for it. So we've got baton pass and we've got great status moves. We've got um, bulk up, calm mind, dragon dance, sword dance, nasty plot. You know, you name it. That could absolutely work. It also has the potential of being a, a screener as well. So we've got Iron Defense, and I believe we've got Reflect on top of that. So this could be very, very bulky for sure. So we've got both of them. And then I'd probably... You could put U-Turn on there, and then you could put something like Psychic. Yeah, you could go Psychic and just run it like that. I, I would probably run it like that. And you give it, like, Timber Nature. So th that, that gives you a way to, like, set the... Um, Set both of them up there. That was meant to be light screen, by the way. I don't know why I'm defense with that. Anyway, so we got light screen and reflect. Set those up. And then we got U-turn to get out of there and psychic for some damage. So not a bad set. It's pretty bulky. Um, get those screens up and then swap into like some uh, physical sweeping Pokemon and set up maybe like a Dragon Dance, Sword Dance, Nasty Plot, Calm Mind, Bulk Up, anything like that. Or, you know, if you're running a tanky set, Iron Defense and things like that. Like that. So that, that's absolutely going to be uh, quite a, a bulky set. Um, if you're worried, if, I guess if you're, I don't know, if you're worried about really getting taunted, you could have Mental Herb as well, but then you sort of lose your screen. So it's kind of obvious. If you come across like a Grim Snarl lead, just you turn out of there or something like that. So just uh, use your common sense right there. So that could definitely uh, perform well as a screening Pokemon. Now, let's go have a look at some more of these move sets here. I always like to have a look at all the sets. So, we've gone over a lot of these Pokemon here. Reflect types are very, uh, quite an interesting move. So, we've gone over a rest uh, set. You could have a rest sleep talker too to easily apply that. We've gone over a uh, entry hazard set with like spikes and stealth rock. Gone over sword dance, tailwind support, which you could use with doubles as well. Uh, it could make a, a pretty good taunter as well. It's very, very speedy. Uh, we've got Thunder Wave, Toxic Spikes. Like, it's got very, very good moves. You could also have it as a, as a Trick Room Pokemon, like Trick Room. 
uh, room service, like whatever you're trying to, uh, you know, you set your trick room team up, or you could just, yeah, you could just use it for that. Uh, to set up trick room and then maybe have like a, a, a couple of like mixed speed. So the Mew could have a uh, decent speed and then you just sort of set your slower Pokemon up. So there's lots of, lots of like cool things you can do with Mew. And absolutely uh, so many different moves there, right? So let's go back to status. It gets uh, quite good moves there. We also got, uh, I'm just having a look if there's anything else. We got Willow Miss as well. So you can make like a, you might be able to add that to the support set like Willow Miss. That would, that would be quite good. Uh, it also gets amnesia as well, so that's uh, that's more gimmicky because you've got calm mind. But I guess it really is an option. Uh, as for doubles, I'm just thinking of some doubles options here. So you've got some other things. If you don't want a nasty plot, you might be able to go like life dew. That could work as well. Another cool one you've got here is uh, where is it? It is. Let me bring this up. It's Pollen Puff. That's it. I was, trying, I was trying to remember the name. So Pollen Puff isn't a bad move for doubles at all. So if the uh, target is an ally, it's going to heal 50% of the maximum health. So you could run that on a special set or you could try and opt for like a bulky set. I'm going to try and make like a bulky doubles one. I would keep the EVs the same if, that's, uh, if, that, if that was me. And then you could set the Tailwind up. That would be quite good. So Pollen Puff and Tailwind just sort of just working this one on the, on the spot here. You probably want to have like something like Psychic or Psy Shock just for, a, you know, a bit of coverage there. That could absolutely work. You could pop on U-Turn on there. That might be a, that might be a decent item you could possibly have on there too. Uh, I'd probably put Leftovers on there or maybe actually even Covert Cloak could be all right because you don't want to get like, um, like Flinch. Now, I know for a fact Mew used to get a long time ago, it used to get Fake Out. It doesn't have that anymore, which, which it was a really good move it used to have, but it doesn't have that anymore, so that's a bit of a shame. So I'd probably put in another status move or keep, uh, you know, you've got a way to dark, you've got psychic, so let's do a status move. Oh, we've got Carmines. Well, you've got Stealth Rock if you want to use that. But, you know, I find doubles a little bit like, too slow for Stealth Rock. And then we've got like, you could have like Trick. You could also have uh, Trick Room. That's another uh, idea you can do as well. So Trick, Trick Room. Uh, you got Will and Miss. That could be very, very helpful as well. Or you could have like Life Dew at the same time. So you can have another way of like healing yourself and your ally too. So there's lots of different things. Uh, you could use it as a Snowscape setter too. So say if you had a snow team, you could set that up nicely as well. Because there's not too many. You've got a Bomber Snow and a couple. Uh, that's pretty much it. So yeah, that's another way of doing it. So a bulky support set, but it is quite speedy. So that's what you can do there for Mew. Let's go over some more of its uh, some moves here. Pardon the pun. Let's bring up those stats. Okay, so we, we pretty much are getting into like moves that you probably wouldn't be used too often. Uh, you got Imprison, which is a really cool move, but you have to come across like another Pokemon and Mew learning so many different moves. It's going to be very, very hard to counter. We got some uh, Misty and Psychic terrains there that could absolutely work. So some great uh, moves there. We also got Helping Hand too. So. That doubles one I was talking about. Let's let's put Helping Hand on. Let's make a bulky. How about that? That's not a bad set for sure. It's speedy. Um, now we Tailwind on there for, let's say for argument's sake, you could make this defensively bulky, which is fine. Like, I, I wouldn't see a problem with that because um, it's going to get outspeed stuff after one Tailwind anyway. So it's, it's, it's going to be fine. So you can make it very, very uh, defensive. So that's the way you could do it. As for the uh, Terra... Hmm, I go Terra Normal. That's quite a good one. And yeah, I, I'd probably stick to Terra Normal. I probably wouldn't even Terra this, to be honest, if I was using it uh, in doubles and stuff like that. I would just leave it. Or Terra Psychic. That's, yeah, I, I see Normal has probably been quite a good one there to get around a lot of it. Like it's, it's, it's Ghosts and stuff like that, or super effective moves. So we've pretty much gone over all of its special moves. Sorry, its status moves. Let's have a look at its special. It learns so many different moves. Um, it just gets like an enormous, I'm not obviously going to go through all of them, but it gets some very notable moves there. You've even got stuff like Hurricane as well, if you're running like a rain team. You've got Heat Wave as well, if you've got Drought going with like a Torkoal. There's many, many options. You, you've got, um, have got Dazzling Gleam, we've been over that already. It gets a lot, we've even got fixed damage moves like Nightshade, so there's some nice little options there too. And we've got some momentum with, uh, Volt Switch on top of that uh, as well, so... That's a special moves. Obviously, I'm not going to go through every single one of them. It's going to take forever. Um, this one, we've gone over Body Press. Funnily enough, it gets Brave Bird, which is pretty uh, pretty interesting. 
Uh, we've a Dragon Tail. So Dragon Tail could serve as a... You know that entry hazard one? And mate, so you could actually add Dragon Tail in there as a taking moves. Like, you know, Stealth Rock, Spikes... Uh, Dragon Tail and Psychic or something like that, or Psy Shock or Psychic Fang, some sort of um, kind of thing like that. I've also got Foul Play too, so there's quite a few moves that it could possibly get. I feel like I've covered most of the moves there. Um, let's do a quick little summary. So uh, Mew has uh, great stats, 100 across the board. It's an extremely versatile Pokemon. You don't really know what it's going to be to actually verse it. Um, but yeah, it is outclassed by quite a lot of our like, Ghost-type Pokemon and Dark-type Pokemon, which can actually shut it down. Um, but yeah, it's still a very, very good Pokemon. If you want to consider using it on your team, give it a shot. And later on, we'll do a Mewtwo guide. Peace out, people.